I am not in my room today. Um, I'm actually visiting my best friend at school, but she has class right now. Boo. So I thought I'd make some vlogs. So it is five days before I leave to go down to Disney and about a week and a half until I move in. Bye! So I wanted to really quick get these last few vlogs done before I head down to Disney. So this vlog is going to be about my audition process. So I know auditioning in general can be really stressful and a lot of people tend to freak out about it. So I just wanted to let you guys know what my experience was with the Disney audition process to hopefully get rid of some of that stress or maybe answer a few questions you might have about the audition process. So I knew freshman year that I wanted to do the Disney College program and I knew that I wanted to try and be a character performer. So one day over the spring, I got an email that said that Disney was going to be having auditions in Michigan. And I decided to go, one, because it was over spring break, so I wouldn't be missing anything. Two, because it was right by where my best friend goes to school, and so I actually got to stay with her, which is actually in this dorm. Also three, I just wanted to know what the audition process was like. I decided I might as well go now before my like real audition for the program. That way I'd be prepared and better know what to expect. So I went to that audition and I had a blast. I had lots of fun. I met a lot of really nice people and it was just a good experience. But we're not here to talk about that audition. I want to tell you more about my actual Disney College program audition. So when you apply to the Disney College program, you will apply the term before you go down. So because I wanted to go down in the spring, I applied and auditioned in the fall. Whereas if you want to go in the fall, you would apply and audition in the spring. So come fall semester, I looked up when the auditions were and I found out the audition day. I made plans to come here to stay the night. I woke up with plenty of time to get ready and to eat a good breakfast and to get to the studio a little earlier than what it said. Um, in the fall, I got there right on time and I was one of the last people to be in the audition. So I recommend getting there a little earlier if you don't want to be the last person. So you get there and you wait in line to check in. They'll give you a number and what you'll do is you'll check in They'll say like your name, your address, and then whether you are doing general admission or the college program because the audition process is the exact same either or. You just check which one you want to be considered for. And as you're waiting around, you get to talk to a lot of people, you get to meet people, and they're all incredibly nice and super fun because everyone there is auditioning for Disney. So everyone has that Disney mentality where everyone is just super nice, super friendly, and everyone wants you to do your best. Nobody's looking at you saying, oh, she doesn't look like she belongs here, or, oh, I really hope that they do poorly because that means I have a better chance. No, it's not like that at all. Everyone wants you to do your best. Everyone wants you to have fun. And so you go in and you learn the first routine, where the first routine is shorter and more simple than the second routine. Um, it kind of reminds me of something you'd see in a parade, more of traveling across the floor. And the music is really upbeat, really fun, and you just kind of get into the groove where like, yeah, I'm having fun, yeah, I can so do this. And because it's shorter and more simple, I feel like they're mostly looking at what you can put into it, not if you're doing the right steps but more of, can you make it bigger? How animated can you make it? What do you look like when you're moving? Do you look comfortable? Stuff like that. So you'll do that routine once or twice across the floor. I think my first time I did it, we did it once, but the second time we did it twice, I believe. And then after that, they make a cut. They'll say what numbers they want 
to keep and everyone else can leave. Both times I made it through the cut, luckily. And after that you have to fill out more paperwork. It's more specific, like if you're doing the college program, what term you want to do, spring advantage or spring or fall or fall advantage. Or if you're looking for just general admission, if you're looking for part-time, full-time, seasonal, stuff like that. It, just more information that they want from you. And then they measure your height and they take your picture. Then everyone goes through what they call an animation piece, which is a lot of improvisation. They give you a scenario and they say, show me it. Again, really simple in concept, but a lot of people freak out when they hear improv. But really all you have to do is show them your personality, be big, be animated, be happy. You shouldn't really stress over it. And then after the animated portion, then you get to learn the more difficult and longer dance combination. And this routine they specifically do where it starts off easier and gradually gets harder. They do that on purpose. They want to see what you can do. Um, again, super fun, super upbeat, super Disney-esque. But after you learn the routine, then they have you come in groups of six or so and you'll do it once or twice for the casting director. Then after that, they'll ask certain people to stay even further for um, face characters. But after that, you can go. Um, both times, I was not asked to stay for the face characters. So that is a quick overview of the audition itself. Now I will say some specific things with suggestions or stuff I did that I really liked that maybe you would want to do. First thing in the morning, make sure you have enough time to get ready, and eat breakfast, and drive to wherever it is you need to go because you don't want to be stressing that first thing in the morning. Um, definitely eat a good breakfast, a good healthy breakfast because you are going to be there all day you are not going to be able to eat again until after you're done and by then it's like two or three in the afternoon when it started at like eight or nine in the morning and you don't want to be passing out because you didn't have any food also i suggest bringing a granola bar or a banana something small and quick just in case you have a little time if you weren't called in the first group to go or, or if you have a little time in between to run over the routine and maybe you do get hungry you can eat something really quick again that way you don't feel uncomfortable you want to be as comfortable as you can during these auditions second thing is what to wear so I wore a mini mouse tank top and yoga pants and jazz shoes I understand a lot of people don't own jazz shoes so you can just bring normal tennis shoes but you don't want to be wearing shoes that you walked in wearing because it is in a dance studio and they do like to keep those floors clean so my first time auditioning I saw some girls wearing some dresses but they were still flowy and good to move in they didn't look um, constricting or anything so I understand that some people don't feel comfortable wearing a t-shirt and yoga pants. You can wear a dress and character shoes if that's what you feel comfortable with. But personally me, I feel more comfortable dancing in a tank top, yoga pants, and jazz shoes. But again, it's all about what you feel comfortable with. You do you. You know yourself best. Wear something that you feel comfortable in. The next thing is the stress about dancing. I know that some people stress out like, oh my god, it's a dance audition, they're going to be asking me to do a billion things that I don't know how to do. That is not the case. Um, even if you go there and you can definitely tell who are the dancers or the people who have been dancing their entire lives and who can do batmas all the way up to their head and can do quadruple pirouettes in a row and you're the person who doesn't know what that even means uh, it doesn't matter you just have to be lively you have to be energetic you have to be excited for what you're doing the dance moves are not that stressful if you don't know what a batma or a pirouette is you can see what other people are doing and you can tell what move you're supposed to do 
even though you have to learn it quick because it is an audition, they still try to make sure that you are comfortable. The choreographer is really good at answering questions. So if you are completely lost, do not be afraid to ask questions. He is really kind. They will not laugh at you for not understanding what's going on. Everyone just wants you to do your best and have fun. And that's the biggest thing. Do not stress. Just go out and have fun. And if that means you have to go and do a couple auditions before you have your big audition, then do it. By all means, do it. It is a fun audition. It doesn't cost anything. You're going to meet wonderful people. You are going to have so much fun. And you're going to say, I cannot wait to do this audition again. I have been to so many auditions that were super stressful that people look at you like, what are you doing here? Why is she here? Oh my God, like she's gonna fail. But this is not it. This is a place to be safe, to have fun, and to just enjoy being Disney. So that's my run through on my audition experience with Disney. If you have any questions, please comment or message me. I will love to answer your questions. Stay tuned for more videos, subscribe, and I hope you have a magical day.